Boxing in the Kitchen, episode 2. No hot bard. Yeah, so, uh, I'm just here, um, boiling my asparagus, which sounds like a dirty euphemism, but, uh, I'm not exactly sure why, because what does asparagus actually look like that would make you think that, so I'm not exactly sure, but it does sound a little bit rude. So anyway, yeah, I'm just uh, boiling my asparagus, which is uh, going to be my starter or main course, because I've already eaten a load of crisps this evening, so I'm not sure if I'm going to make a proper din-dins. So anyway, yeah, I was just going to talk about... Um, where Tyson Fury goes next after beating Derek Chisora yesterday for the second time because he didn't look that good really I think that you've got to give him credit though because going into the fight just drinking out my Welsh Cup rush hour in Wales with all the sheep crossing the road and uh, yeah um, you can't say that Derek Chisora looked poor, really, because if you say that, then you're taking credit away from um, Tyson Fury. And at the end of the day, loads of people were saying that Derek Chisora was going to win, even by knockout. So I'm not a fan of these, this um, way of arguing where the day before the fight, he's going to get knocked out. And then the very next day, his opponent was crap. I don't do that. So as far as I'm aware, as, as far as I'm concerned... Derek Chisora entered the ring as a, you know, close uh, opponent to him and he got, uh, you know, brutalised, really. Didn't get brutalised over the um, period of the entire fight, but what I mean is, uh, if you have a look at his face at the end of it, his face was close shut. The fight probably should have been stopped after eight or nine rounds. In the end, his corner did him a favour by taking him out of there in the 10th. He looked like... Um, he looked like he just didn't want to be in there, Chisora. And uh, my asparagus is done, really. But I'll finish the video and uh, then show you it. And, uh, yeah. So where does uh, Fury go next? I think that he would be best off going for something like the winner of Stiverne versus Wilder rather than taking the Klitschko fight. Because I think that as good as Fury is, and I do think he's quite good and he's definitely exciting, as good as he is, he's not going to beat Vladimir Klitschko, not in a million years. I think Klitschko is just um, <coughs> just a um, head and shoulders above everyone else. So, I think he'd be better off... Um, where's my bloody uh, strainer? Ugh, that's what I need. Yeah, he's just head and shoulders above everyone else. And um, if Fury actually wants to win a world title or beat a sort of credible world level opposition that will finally get him some respect, he should go after the winner of Stiverne, Wilder, because I think he beats Wilder, who I'm not all that, you know, I'm not all that sort of, what's the word? I don't think he's going to go that far. And uh, Stiverne would be a competitive fight, it would be an exciting fight, and I don't know, I might favour Stiverne in that one, because he seems to have a chin, uh, he he had quite a good amateur record as well. Uh, he's got the power, obviously, and uh, Fury's been you know knocked down before and what have you. So I would probably favour that one. But at the end of the day, Chisora doesn't look that bad. It's wrong to say that uh, Chisora didn't show up for the fight, or whatever. I think he definitely looked like he couldn't be bothered anymore by the end by the end of the fight. But how much of that was because um, Fury had beaten the um, the fight out of him, you know, you know, because let's face it, Chisora didn't give up against Vitaly Klitschko, he didn't give up against Robert Hellenius, he didn't give up against, um, he didn't even give up against David Hay really, he just got knocked out, so, um, so yeah, I thought that going into the fight, you know, blah blah blah, going into the fight, he, um, you know, I'm just trying to think how I should present this asparagus, so it looks nice to you all. Um, how shall I present my asparagus? Um, yeah, so, um, I think that, yeah. Mm, that's nice. So I think he should go after Wildest of them, but even if he went after guys like Pulev or, um, 
Who else could he fight? Somebody like uh, Pulev or even Dimitrenko he was meant to fight, wasn't he? Or Ustinov. Ustinov is meant to be fighting Kimbo Slice soon. So maybe even the winner of that. If it's Ustinov, if it's Kimbo Slice, possibly not. Um, so yeah, anyway, let me just... Um... Oh crap, have I got any olive oil? I need olive oil for this. Shitty pants. Um... Ugh, hang on a second. Right, have I got any olive oil in this cupboard? Oh, oh yeah, I have, right at the back. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, God. <coughs> Is that olive oil? Yep, I've got a whole bottle of olive oil. Saves me having to go back to scene breeze. Mm. Right, let me just put all this back in the cupboard. Right, I'm just going to finish off this uh, asparagus starter. So yeah, uh, Tyson Fury, yeah. Um, definitely needs some more fights. I like watching Tyson Fury, even though I know a lot of people, you know, think he's a bit of a joke. I think he's exciting. Uh, you never know what you're going to get with Tyson Fury. Uh, I'm not sure how much I'm going to tart this up, to be honest. Uh, basically, just imagine with this asparagus dessert. Um, dessert? Uh, it's definitely not a dessert. It's a starter. Just imagine with it, you're meant to have, like, some nice slices of asparagus sort of uh, lined up and, you know, like, presented nicely. And then, if you bring the camera down, and then you, uh, what I do with it is I put in some olive oil and some lemon juice. But my asparagus is a little bit limp right now. That sounds like a euphemism as well. It's a little bit limp right now. Oh, God, how am I going to pour this olive oil? Hang on a second. I'm going to have to put that down. Let's see if that can film it. Something like that. Anyway, yeah, I've got to use my thumb here. So just pour in a little bit of olive oil like this. And then after you've done that, like I just did there, I just poured some olive oil over. And now I just need to get some lemon juice out of my fridge. Dee -dee 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 -dee. What's in my fridge here? Oh, lemon juice is all the way back there. Oh, dearie me. Lovely tofu. Oh, I like my tofu because I'm a big vegetarian. Right, get some lemon juice. And then I just pour the lemon juice over like this. And then you've got a very healthy starter. But I'll probably end up gobbling all this down in about two minutes. So there you go. So those are my thoughts on asparagus and Tyson Fury for you.